Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about the properties of Hello Alkanes. So in this we'll talk about the physical state, whether it is liquid, solid or gas. We'll talk about the boiling point. We'll talk about the solubility of Hello Alkanes. And we'll also talk about the density of Hello Alkanes. So let's, let's talk about the physical state first. All the alkyl halides are colorless when pure. Please note, they are colorless when pure, but the bromides and the iodides, they develop color when they are exposed to light. And most of them are volatile and sweet smelling. Methyl chloride, methyl bromide, ethyl chloride and some chlorofluoromethanes are gas at room temperature. And high members are liquids or solids. Right? Lower members of the gases, the higher members are liquids or solids. So they are colorless when pure, but this bromide and iodide, they develop a color when they are exposed to light, they have sweet smell, they are volatile, and they are the higher ones are generally liquids or solids. Let us discuss the boiling point of the haloalkanes. So in this, if you see, typically my Ri has higher boiling point than RBr, then RCl, then Rf. Why? Because the fluorine molecular size is also small, right? Chlorine size is big, bromine all the more big, iodine all the more big. Also the molecular mass also increased, right? So size is increasing, the molecular mass increasing, the van der Waals force of attraction is increasing. So, so if you see that CS3X for CS3X, if it is CS3Cl, this is CS3Cl, this is CS3Br and this is CS3I. So CS3I has maximum boiling point because more size, bigger size, bigger mass and more vulnerable force of attraction. Correct? So if you see this way, C2H5I, this is C2H5Cl, C2H5Br, C2H5I, right? So this ethyl iodide has higher boiling point than ethyl bromide then ethyl chloride and if you see this ethyl chloride is gas why because you increase the mass you increase the size you increase the van der Waals force of attraction and thus the boiling point increases. also the boiling points of chlorides and bromides are higher than those of hydrocarbons with similar molecular mass for example i have a uh, hydrocarbon uh, c5h uh, let's suppose 12 you find the molecular mass of this right and then you have some other uh, CX, let's suppose Cl, some some hydrocarbon which has, uh, which is some hello, hello alkane, both have same molecular mass, but in spite of that, this will have higher boiling point. Why? Because the Cl minus, if you see this Rx, Rcl, you can just say yes, this Rcl. This will get a negative charge, it will get a positive charge. Since it is polar, it will have more force of attraction, right? So even if these are Cl and let's suppose C 5 h will have same molecular mass, this will have higher melting and boiling point. Why? Because they told higher polarity, right? So they have higher melting. Also, if you compare with the parent alkan, for example, I have CH4 and CH3 Cl, this will have higher melting point, boiling point. Why? Because the parent one, in the pair, from the parent one, you're replacing hydrogen with chlorine. Chlorine has a big mass. Right, and also it's more polar. So because of more polarity and higher molecular mass, the the haloalkane is having higher melting and boiling 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 point. If you compare that with the parent hydrocarbon, correct? Because in the parent hydrocarbon, you replace H with some halogen, and the halogen has higher molecular mass and bigger size, and also higher polarity. So the intermolecular force of attraction is stronger. Correct. So the rule is, if you increase the size, increase the mass, the more is the van der Waals force of attraction, the more is the intermolecular force of attraction, the more is the boiling point. Correct. So one thing, if we know that the boiling point of uh, isomeric haloalkanes decrease with increase in branching. For example, I have this guy. So four carbon, one bromine. The bo boiling point is let's suppose three seventy five K. So if I do a branching here, 
if I put domain here, so it becomes 360k. If I do further more branching here, so if I give a domain here, this is 346k. So if you see the boiling point is decreasing. So if you increase the branching, the boiling point is decreasing. Also, note that the para isomers have high melting point when you compare with ortho and meta. Why? Because they are symmetrical. So if you see, I'll take you through three different compounds. Right? So this is my one compound. This is my another, and this is my all of the benzene. So this guy has a boiling point of 448 Kelvin. This is para. And if you see this, this is symmetrical actually. If you see the symmetrical cut from here, it's symmetrical. If you see ortho and meta, they have the boiling point of 453 Kelvin and 446 Kelvin. So this guy is more. Sorry, this is 458 Kelvin. This guy is more actually. Correct? So this is symmetrical, so it fits into the lattice easily. And have you ever wondered why when you increase the branching, the boiling point decreases? Why? Because it's, it's, it's now, it's almost like a closed structure, right? It is not able to interact much with other closed structure. You see here, right? The force of attraction between these two was less. But if you see this compound, the straight ones, and here, the force of attraction between them is more, right? Because it's the open structure. The wonderful force is more. And thus, they have higher boiling point. So let's talk about the density of haloalkanes now. So in this case, bromoido and polychloro, bromoido and not chloro, please note, polychloro has density more than water, that is more than one. So if you see, this is bromo, this is ido, these are all polychloro, they have density more than one. But the normal chloro, monochloro has density less than one. Please note, the normal chloro haloalkane will be lighter than water, but polychloro or any kind of ido bromo, they'll have density more than water. And the density will increase with the number of carbon atoms, halogen atom, and atomic mass. If you see, if you go down here, if you see this guy is C3H7I. This is more density if you compare with CH2Cl2. Correct? Here also, if you see, this has three chlorine molecules. This has more molecular mass. So if you compare these two, this guy has more density. If you compare these three compounds, CCL4 has the highest elect, uh, molecular mass, so it has highest density. So increase the molecular mass, the density increase. So let's talk about the solubility of haloalkanes. It says like dissolves like, and we told that haloalkanes are slightly polar, right? So we have shown that Rx slightly negative, slightly positive. So it has to be slightly soluble, right? So they are slightly polar, so it has to be slightly soluble. But they are not that much soluble. They are very slightly soluble. Why? In water, actually. Why? Because, see, water is polar compound, right? H2O. Now, for a compound to dissolve in water, let's suppose Rx, the amount of energy required to break this bond, right, should be less than amount of energy released by formation of the bond between Rx and H2O. Correct? So you can easily break these bonds, and form bond between these, then only it will solve it. But it is observed that it is the energy required to form the bond between water and haloalkane is more than the energy which is generated by breaking this bond. So generally it doesn't dissolve, right? Because of the energy difference, right? So it requires more energy to break these bonds, OH bond and RX bond, than the energy released by combining this bond. So they are more soluble in ether, alcohol and all. Let's take some numerical. So we have to arrange this uh, set of compound in the increasing order of their boiling point. 
so it is bromo methane let's draw the structure bromo methane ch3br then i have bromo form cbr4 chloromethane chcl3 dibromomethane ch2br so here if you see which one has the highest atomic molecular mass so this fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so bromine has more than chlorine right bromine has more than chlorine atomic mass so this guy has the maximum atomic number mass this will be position 1 the second is which guy the second is this guy third is this guy and the fourth is it is CH3Cl chloromethane correct so this is the order of molecular mass this will be the order of boiling point right boiling point increase with boiling point is directly proportional to molecular mass correct so cbr4 is the maximum ch2br2 is next ch3br is next and ch3cl is next let's check these guys now store the structure now one chloropropane propane one chloropropane right so it will be nice. two chloropropane two chloropropane isopropyl chloride no, this is correct only one chloropropane let's draw the structure first one chloropropane will be this guy isopropyl chloride will be this guy chlorobutane one chlorobutane will be this guy so let's compare which one has the maximum molecular mass if you compare this and this this has more molecular mass and if you see this is branch so it will have less boiling point so compare this into this is first number this is second number see this is branch and this has less molecular mass also this is third number this is my order this is the highest boiling point so here branch has lower boiling point and molecular mass is directly proportional to boiling point this has the maximum molecular mass it has the highest boiling point if you compare these two both have same molecular mass but this is branched so it will have less molecular boiling point this will have more boiling point thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again